89WLS, John and Lauren back with Senator Kirk Diller joining us in the studio, taking your calls as he's in the GOP race for governor. So let's get right to uh, Rachel in Maywood. Good morning, you're on 89WLS. How long have you been in, uh, Kirk? Um, it's going to be, John, at the end of uh, the term, it will be close to 20 years. You know, I'm term limiting myself, as is my running mate, Jill Tracy, by running for governor. Uh, I have a two-year term. We're done uh, because we feel we've got to be the governor and the lieutenant governor to be able to do what we need to do. Uh, and uh, I've always supported term limits for legislative leaders. I voted for recall of public officials. I don't have a problem with term limits. The devil is in the details, although I will tell you Mr. Rauner's plan, according to Professor Mooney from uh, the University of Illinois Political Science Department, decimates and uh, dilutes the strength of downstate Illinois. And, uh, but uh, I will also tell you, uh, once I was uh, Governor Edgar's chief of staff, and when I finished that term, Mike Madigan became the minority leader because our unemployment rate was below the national average. We uh, had a surplus in the state budget, and you can make Mike Madigan the minority leader without term limits. Uh, Jim Edgar and I proved that that could happen, uh, and Lee Daniels became the Speaker of the House for a while, a Republican from Elmhurst. But I don't have a problem with term limits. Well, Rachel. if you bring up Stuart Levine, right, as the mastermind, and the, in the varying degrees, the Tribune dismisses it, dismisses that story, Crane supports that story. Um, the fact is that Stuart Levine was just one part of the larger cog of Big Bill Cellini, the Republican, the boss, the shadow player of the Combine, who directed all this stuff, and who was Edgar, you know, when you were chief of staff, not that you were the governor then, but he would call. Edgar, Edgar um, you know, wrote a letter saying, Bill, Bill please give him mercy, give him mercy, Judge uh, he should, Edgar. And he shouldn't have done that. He shouldn't have done that. Maybe you would have advised him or not. But the fact is that you also, you have either a personal or a working relationship with the man. You have dealt with him. So should you be accused, with, painted with that same kind of brush? Well, I have no relationship with Stuart Levine. Uh, don't know him. No, and, I'm talking uh, about Cellini. But his, his Mr. Master. Cellini, John, I'll show you a story written by the Chicago Sun-Times that said the only time that uh, he was rebuffed uh, repeatedly was uh, during the administration and during my time period. Mm -hmm. I'll show you the quotes no, I, where, I, know the where quotes. I, I tubed uh, things that he wanted to do. And uh, I'm just saying know, it's, it's, how, it's how you, you know, in, in with Stuart Levine and Mr. Rauner, you know, put Stuart Levine aside. You got Ed Rendell, the Democrat governor of uh, Pennsylvania, the head of the Democratic National Committee at the time, and Mr. Rauner gave several hundred thousand dollars to and had his work doubled by the Pennsylvania retirement system. So, so 300,000, several hundred. Uh, that's 300, at least in my vernacular, even if I can't pronounce Illinois properly. I'm the addiction expert. <laughs> Senator, look, our last call, though, wanted some more specifics. Yes, and more, more. And that struck me in, Thank in you. a report I read recently about your economic plan, which I hadn't heard before, specifically tax credits created for high-paying jobs. So can you just tell our listeners some of those specifics? Please. I had a press conference, and I've had for years a plan to make Illinois a destination economy for job creation. Anybody can go to KirkDillard.com. Look at my plan. I'm the only candidate that has a written plan uh, on job creation in the state of Illinois. It is a multifaceted approach. We're overtaxed. We're overregulated. My running mate, Jill Tracy, uh, whose family started a uh, company out of the back of a station wagon called Dot Foods, which now employs... 2,000 people in southwestern Illinois. Uh, I chose her because she's going to be my partner in economic development. One of the things I want her to do, Lauren, and this plan is huge, but one of the things I want her to do is be known as the repealer in state government. And Jill's going to travel this state and meet with businesses, small and large, to figure out what superfluous regulations stifle economic development. That's one of about 25 pages of ideas on how I have to stimulate our economy. I was the sponsor of the law that brought Boeing Corporation from Seattle to Chicago, and I helped bring Navistar from Indiana, Mitch Daniels, Indiana, back to my area, Lyle and Naperville. Roll back the income tax? Um, the income tax, I didn't vote for it to begin with, Lauren. One of the things that makes Illinois attractive is a low, flat, and I underline flat, income tax. We need a top-to-bottom overhaul of our archaic and unfair tax Would system. Would you bail out Chicago? This, every candidate is going to answer this question. Chicago needs money or says it needs money for the pension deal. Will you say yes or no? Is Chicago going to be bailed out if uh, 
Kirk Dillard is governor. Why don't bail out anyone? I will help Mayor Emanuel solve his problems in the city of Chicago. That means revenue from the suburbs? Um, you know, that's one of the things that differentiates myself from the rest of the candidates. I mean, you know, John, uh, I have told Mayor Daley no. I've told Mike Madigan no. I did that. That was my job as Governor Edgar's chief of staff. And I don't vacation with Rahm Emanuel. I have a good relationship, a professional one with him, but I can tell him no. But nobody's going to get bailed out. I'm going to be a governor like Solomon that's for all of Illinois. Senator Kirk Taylor, thanks so much for coming in and joining us. We appreciate thanks, it. Thanks, Lauren. It's thanks. always fun. Thank you, John, for keeping me on my toes, as <laughs> always. Kirk, thank you for telling, teaching me how to pronounce Illinois because I'm the expert in terms of diction. <laughs> thank, thank you. Thank you.